Connectors. So here in Australia, it's not very common for these type of connectors to be used. And of course, we've also got in Australia what we call here wire nuts. They've been in Australia for a really long time, but Australian and I would say even New Zealand Sparkies just haven't adapted to either wire nuts or a Wago style connector. These connectors, we wanted to just put them through their paces. We're just gonna do some high-end testing. We love to blow things up, so we're gonna share the results for you to decide what you think is the best around efficiency versus risk versus tradition. So let's go, let's get into it. Okay, this is a simple jig that we've created. This is really just a strain test, uh, kind of like a tug of war. Those connectors uh, that don't have a brand associated with them were typically lower in terms of tension results. So this is designed just to play a game of the weakest joint. We'll be running about 130 amps to get things kicked off. Alright, so what does all of this mean? Where did we come to with all the results? Well, what I can tell you is that when we had high current through connectors that are unbranded as such and bought off locations like uh, eBay, we're typically lower in terms of tension results. So fundamentally the results, the Wago and the locks were standout head and shoulders above the other ones. I would love to hear your comments or feedback if you think we should do other tests or you'd like to see something else, put the comments in there. But I do believe the forecast in Australia, you're gonna see a lot more of these being used uh, and integrated into products.